Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't seen the series before, what I do is every Wednesday go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Mood's Instagram page, and I decide if I think I'm going to be adding them to my wishlist or if I think they're a total washout. Before we jump into this week's products, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like these weekly wishlist or washout videos. Don't forget to check out the playlist of all the videos that I've done so far. It's going to be right up there in the cards. And subscribe if you haven't already, a little bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. My voice just cracked. <clears throat> I feel like this always happens because I don't really, like I film these early in the morning and so like this is the first time I actually talk in, <laughs> for the day and so huh. let's get some more coffee. Scrolling, 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 scrolling. Okay, so I feel like this is probably the last time I'm gonna go over this just because I think at this point it's redundant. I'm never, ever, ever going to buy a luxury or a celebrity fragrance just based on the person. Fragrance is very personal to me. I actually mix a body spray and a perfume together to make like my own like personal scent. I'm not a huge fan of spending a lot of money on perfume. I have one perfume that I absolutely adored and it was it was a Burberry perfume and that was a gift that I got from my family for my birthday so I feel like that's the exception not the rule. For the most part the perfume that I use every day costs less than $20 a bottle and then the body spray is a couple of dollars at Bath and Body Works. I'm just not the kind of person that can just go out and buy a really really expensive perfume like this without even having smelled it for that burberry perfume i spent months like i had like at least six little sample bottles of it i had all the little tiny samples i had the magazine cutouts that i would keep in my room because i liked the way that it smelled so much i whenever i could go into a sephora or wherever they had like the bottle out on display i would get a little sample if i could after doing that for months my family got it for me like as a gift. That's just how I view fragrance. I am never going to buy a KKW fragrance. I am never going to buy anything high-end like that. And I just don't understand how people can jump on board with such an expensive fragrance without even having ever smelled it. Like how do you even know it's gonna work for you? How do you even know it smells good? How do you know it's gonna smell good on you? Because perfume is very personal, so it could smell good on one person and not so good on the other person, you know? I just, I feel like there's a lot that goes into perfume and I really don't understand this at all. Why do I feel like it's been forever since we've gotten a new L'Oreal release? When was their last release? Was it the Pro Glow? I don't think it was the Pro Glow, was it? I don't know, I feel like L'Oreal's flown under the radar for a long time, but now they're coming out with this new collaboration with Camila Cabello. And I gotta say, the packaging's adorable. It looks very cute. They're coming out with some like single eyeshadows. I think those are lipsticks. Oh, it's a lip gloss. They're called Lip Dews. That's kind of cute. There's a bronzer, a liquid bronzer. I'm not a huge fan of liquid bronzers. Um, there's a brow, gotta give brow. There's a liner. There's the lip glosses and then the eyeshadows. So this is, I mean, it's a cute little collection. I feel like if there had been a powder bronzer, maybe I would have tried it out. Personally, I'm not feeling particularly drawn towards any individual product, but I think this is a really cute collaboration and a really good thing to come out of L'Oreal since they've kind of flown under the radar for so long. This one isn't a new release, but it almost got me. It's a re-release of what was a limited edition palette and that is from Morphe. This is the Holiday 2017 Dare to Create, I think it's called the 39A palette. When I saw a couple of people on YouTube use this palette and get the most amazing looks out of it, I felt a bit of FOMO, but it was already sold out at that point. I didn't really look at the palette too closely. I just saw the looks that were coming out and I was like, oh, that looks really nice. I didn't really take into account like how bulky the packaging is like people like it's like this big it's a huge palette and then i also didn't really look too closely at what you're actually getting in the palette but when i saw that it came back in stock there was it was a good five minutes where i was like oh i should get that like that was really good but then no look at the palette i don't need the entire top half of the palette especially all those big circles in the middle. 
I don't need it. The only thing that really interested me was the bottom half of the palette. And I'm pretty sure I have those shades. Sure, that olive green was really pretty, but I'm, I, I've got greens. I've got so many greens. And I know I wouldn't reach for a palette that big and bulky. I barely reach for my like little medium sized palettes now. So that's just something that almost got me, but I thought through it, really looked at it, and was like, e no. So Hourglass is actually coming out with an interesting looking product. It is called the Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadows. They are individual glitters, and they're actual like glitters, loose glitters. I thought these looked really pretty at first. The packaging is stunning. The colors look nice. They're a little neutral, but you know. But I saw the price. It's $30 for a little glitter thingy. Like, I know it's hourglass. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, they look like they're about as big as a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. $30 ah, for a single glitter. I can't. Oh, I can't. I just, oh, I don't care how pretty they are. I don't care. Oh, $30 for glitter. I gotta give it to them though. That is actually an interesting release from Hourglass. I think it's a good addition to their collection. I don't think it's a limited edition. I think they should be permanent, but God, that's that price point, man. Not when I have good glitters and shimmers for ugh, less than like an eighth of that price. Zoeva is a brand that I flirted with the idea of trying out. I, I go to their website, I put things in my cart, and then I've just left. I've looked at palettes and thought, oh, those look really pretty, put them in my cart, left. I feel like the same thing is going to happen with this palette. It's called the IC Eye Palette. Packaging is stunning, of course. And I'm pretty sure they're all, nope, I see a matte. They're 90... Okay, so they're all shimmer except for like the base shade and the black shade. Eh. Eh. That's really all I can say. Just like, eh. Like. Ooh. Oh, I might get this one. I think I'm going to get this one. Smashbox came out with their Ablaze Summer Collection. And there's a face palette. My all-time favorite contour palette comes from Smashbox. I got it like during the Sephora Weekly Wow, so it was only $17. And it's got, it's in my drawer right now because it's in my everyday makeup drawer. But I have, it's like a little highlight shade, it's matte, the bronzer, and then the contour shade. That's my favorite contour shade. I am actually wearing it today. It's just the perfect tone. It's, it blends out like a dream. So I'm about the contour products from Smashbox. This palette, this face palette looks beautiful. And it's got like, I'm pretty sure those are peachy toned blushes. There's a bronzer, there's a contour, and then you got the two highlighters. I want this palette. I think this is an awesome, you know, release for summer. This is what I expect out of summer. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting a little too excited. Oh, I want it. I want it. But yeah, if you have not tried that little contour, like the trio palette from them, try it. I love it. I'm actually close to hitting pan on one of the shades in there, and I'm probably going to rebuy that palette when I'm done, even though it's just not going to be the same sale price, but it's worth it. Worth it. I really want to try out this foundation. I actually, I have, okay, so this is a foundation from NYX. I actually have another NYX foundation in that elf bag back there that I bought and I was like oh I'm gonna do a first impression review on this and then I never did so it's still in the box back there but I do want to try out this foundation it's called the can't stop won't stop it comes in 45 shades like a collaboration with Alyssa Ashley if anything um we have a NYX store in our local mall I do want to go and see if maybe they'll shade match that would be really cool um but at least you know get a sample try it out because it looks like an excellent shade range and it looks like a good product where the heck did this brand come from? It's called Ace Butte. I've never heard of it. They're coming out with a bunch of palettes that look like they come from Shop Hush, which is where I thought they were from originally. But they're $31 each. I was shocked. I thought these were gonna be like the Bad Habit palettes. $31. Whew. Whew. 
Ooh, honestly, I've never heard of this brand. Those swatches look fake. And nah. Nah, I might watch some reviews on this one just to see what the hell they're about. But I'm not gonna spend that much money on a palette from a brand I never even heard of. We got a sneak peek of the new Too Faced collection. It's called the 2D Fruity Collection. This is like a small eyeshadow palette. It's a little bit boring, um, but the packaging is really cute. I'm really interested to see what the rest of the collection is going to have. I'm not sure what I'm exactly expecting out of the collection. I know they're going for a different shape for their palettes. I'd be interested to see some more cheek products. Their cheek products get really good reviews, like their Papa Don't Peach blush. i like to see something like that in this collection. Maybe a new highlighter, that'd be really cute. Or like a little mini, like if they made a mini face palette. Oh, I would love that. Natasha Denona is coming out with a new mini palette. It is the mini Lila. I think that's how you pronounce it. The mini Lila palette. I do have the full size Lila palette. I did not pick up the mini sunset palette because again, I do have the full size sunset palette. I do think that the minis are an awesome way to try out that formula though because they're about $20. You do get a decent amount of shadow in the pans, even though the pans are like little baby pans, but you do get a decent amount of shadow for your money to try out Natasha Denona. I think these are only available online. I tried going into a Sephora a while ago looking for the palette and I think they're online only, but actually no, that's a lie. I think I saw the Sunset one in store. I don't know. I was told at one point that it was online only and then I went and I think I saw it. Or I could be imagining things. Who knows? But I do think this is a good way to try out Natasha Denona if you don't want to splurge on any of the other products. And let me know if you guys want to see any videos with the full size Leela when this comes out. If you want some, you know, inspiration or more purples in your life. This launches the 24th. So I could probably throw up a video around then, but just let me know down below what you guys want to see. All right, and I think that is everything for this week. I think we had a lot more products than usual this week. I don't know what happened. New releases, everything exploded. But thank you so much for watching. Hope if you guys liked it, you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.